Hi guys, Xenocraft1212 here, back with another mod video. This time, finally showing off the mod that I should have shown off a long time ago, as it has been in every single mod episode thus far. This is the Dragonborn Crafting Hall, and also a little side mod called Gumachan, which is a little seal that Fushra dots people and you can give him helmets. But other than that, he's just a little marshmallow seal. He bites people too! Yeah, he bites people and makes the sound of Horford does. And he sounds like Lydia. Yeah. I've got your back. Okay, See? Okay, Lydia, go my dad. But the main thing here is the Dragonborn crafting Let's hall. get going, then. Now, this can be found by Riverwood. See, this is the town of Riverwood out here. There's Stump, Dog. Hey, bud. There you go. <laughs> Vandal's house is right over there. My little marshmallow. And this is what it looks like. It's just in the hillside. Kind of carved into it some big giant dwarf. Because the dwarves are the excuse that every mod creator uses for advanced technologies. And as you can see, it has a forge, has a tanning rack, some operating stations. But where it really gets interesting are the Ingredients that respawn a thousand of anything you could ever need. And if the number is less than a thousand, it's because I have used it. <laughs> Including lots of those. But really, anything you could ever want for crafting pretty much anything. For smithing, anything in these chests. Just the forge to use it. Learn enchantments every enchantment in the game. In fact, it duplicates certain things like three different times. And it adds its own enchant, which fortifies enchanting by 100 points, no matter what, which is great. It improves, it like wants you to become as cheaty as possible. <laughs> forge, that's not called forge, it's called smelting. It has all spells for all DLCs, mod spells, which I think is a really cool idea. There's some of my mod spells right there. Master everything. Adds artifacts, spellbreaker, REL shield, the Vasuzu of Mazund. Really anything you could possibly want. In my opinion, I always like to go for these chests because of the bows and weapons and armor that they have. And Countess Katie is here, in case yeah, you hi. didn't recognize that voice. Hi. She's been in the majority of my videos. Uh-huh. That's just Ren. how awesome I am. This has anything you could possibly want. That's Keeney. Keeney. Which is how the dwarves became however they got to. Anything you could possibly want. Special armor. All the Dark Brotherhood armor. All whatever. <laughs> You can get anything. You can make baby spiders. Because reasons. That explode. Exploding spider crafting items. Yes. You can make little flaming spiders that explode. Dragon priest masks. That. <laughs> this is a mod I have. I forgot about this. Uh. Oh, that could give me nightmares. It's like, ooh, dragonborn mask, and then the other. Is that a duck? And the, yes. Yes, it is. What does Enforak look like? <laughs> that looks like Grim Reaper. Wait, what does what the freakiest ones look like? We apologize in advance for giving you nightmares. Actually, no. He should apologize. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Apologize to your viewers. Well, if this gives you nightmares, you shouldn't be watching Skyrim videos in the first place. That's my opinion. That's just great. I will eat your soul. <laughs> well, what is that thing I'm not sleeping tonight. Or else I'd be having nightmares. I think this is the funniest. <laughs> but it has this. And player storage chest. Which, as you might notice, is not empty. That's because 
it gives you sixty-five thousand dollars, five hundred and well, sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-five dollars septums actually. And as you can see, I have used this a little bit. That's mainly what I used to get the most for. Yeah, she Countess Katie just comes here for money. Yep. It provides you with an oven and bows. Although sadly, the oven doesn't have an ingredients chest by it, which I do not understand. Really. Gives you a cooking spit, which we use to get our beautiful wings. And multiple bookcases all over the place. Wardrobes for all your clothing. A bed. And sweet rolls. You can Two start sweet the Dark rolls. Brotherhood quest line from here. Yes, if you go to sleep, you can start the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Or you can choose a small bed for reasons. Yes. <laughs> um... But yeah. In case it's too difficult for you to pick a side of the bed like it is for me, then... Because, like, I... If I had a bed that big, I'd sleep in the middle. But there's no middle option. So. I'm weird. Sorry. I'm so did I ever wear crosses? I don't think so. Yes, no, you did. No, I did. I did. Okay. That's yes. great. <laughs> yep. And that, my friends, is why you do not let little kids watch Skyrim mods. But that's basically it. It's a really simple mod. Oh, also, soul gems. Every soul gem filled and not filled. And of course, every chest has the same 65,000 septums in it. Has all ingredients and blank stabs. Which is pretty interesting, if you ask me. No. Take this the wrong way. And her, but Michelle, a little sickly. who is multi-raced apparently. She's a panda. <laughs> yes, she is. Need something? She identifies as a panda. <laughs> Don't question it. Um, mm -hmm. now you can choose between this mod and QA smoke. But if getting this mod is too hard for you, then if you have console commands, you can go to QA smoke. But if you don't have console commands, I would definitely go with the mod. That's all I have to type in to get there. Oh, and not have anything selected. Yeah. And then it'll take you to what Bethesda used to basically, like, loot tables and every item in the game. It's beautiful. And if you want to learn more on that, just watch my other video. And there will be a little end card at the end to that video. Although it is pretty much the end. Little Goma-chan running around in a dwarven place. Like I said, it's really simple but is extremely, extremely useful. Especially for mods because it has all these items you would ever need to make things. And since a lot of mods involve crafting, this crafting hall is basically the best place. This is where I made the giant bow on my back. This is where I made my wings. This is where I got my armor for this character. It's really like you can't replace it with anything else if you want to cheat easily. <laughs> or if you're on Xbox One or PS4 and you can't use console commands but you still want to be as cheaty as possible, this is where you go. And he has a gigantic head. Holy <laughs> crap! My head? His head. <laughs> this is where I'm at. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>